Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to dilate a figure when given the pre-image in a center of dilation. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to get to my polygon tool right here. It's the fifth one over from this, the left. And I'm going to drop it down to polygon. So I can make any polygon, but for this I'm just going to make a triangle. Okay, after I have my polygon, I now want a point that's going to serve as my center of dilation. So I'm just going to put my point anywhere. I could put it um, anywhere on the grid, but I'm just going to put it right here. So from here, I now want to dilate this polygon from the center of dilation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the fourth one over from the right, and I'm going to go to dilate from point. Click that button. The first thing you do is you click on the object, and then the center of dilation. So this whole screen is going to pop up. It's going to be your scale factor. I'm going to choose my scale factor to be 2. And OK. All right. And notice that this is my image that has been dilated by a scale factor of 2. So now I have my center of dilation, pre-image, and the image. So what I need now is I need the, the area and the perimeter. So what I'm going to do is go to the fifth one from the right, drop it down, and I see area there. So I can click that button. And then I'm going to click my pre-image. So notice that my area of my pre-image will just pop up as a little rectangle there. Next thing, I will go over the same button as before, but this time I'm going to click distance or length. So it looks doesn't say perimeter, but this is how we're going to find our perimeter. Again, we're going to click the pre-image, and you're going to see that the perimeter just popped up. The pre-image just popped up. So this is what we needed. We have our center of dilation, pre-image, image, and area and perimeter of our pre-image. All right, that's it.